Morning guys, it is time for morning message. Today is Thursday, April 16th, and I have our message board right here. Today we only have one message, so I was able to write it super big so that you all can see from wherever you're sitting. Next to our numeral number one, we have the same shape that we had yesterday. Does anybody remember what this shape is called? Mm -hmm. I remember we said that it kind of looks like a box, right? Like a cardboard box that you would get. But we like to call it a c -c cube, right? A cube. And I remember yesterday I was looking for a cube block at my house, but I don't have any. So I sculpted one out of Play-Doh. So remember, our cube has... It kind of looks like a bunch of squares put together. There's a square on this side, square, square. Those are all called faces. How many faces does this cube have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six faces. And how many vertices? Remember, vertices are corners. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six faces and eight vertices. I want to ask you again tomorrow what this three dimensional shape is called. Let's see if you can remember tomorrow. Okay, so message number one has one cube next to it, and let's see what our message is for today. Do you have any clues? It looks like a letter link up here, but there's a blank at the beginning. So I'm not sure exactly whose name this is because the first letter is missing. All I see is blank and then the rest of the word, the rest of the letters say Evan. Hmm, something's missing here. But I do see the letter link symbol at the end. Yeah, it's a kitty, right? So whose name do you think this is? Whose name has a kitty symbol? Kevin, I know. Okay, so if the letter link symbol kitty starts with a K, then what letter does Kevin's name start with? Also a K, right? So I'm going to take out my dry erase marker. Because remember, we don't use regular markers on this board. And I'm going to start with my uppercase K. Start at the top. Make a line going straight down. Start at the top on the other side. I'm going to go across. And then go back across that way. And there you have your uppercase K. So now we know Kevin. Is part of our message. What is the second clue that we see? Yeah, it looks kind of like a party hat and a cake, right? I see candles on it and it looks like it's decorated. Yeah, it says Kevin and then I think you are right that this means birthday. Today is Kevin's birthday on Thursday. And there's one last part of our message. What do you think that means? See a question mark? So maybe that means what or why or how. And there's a arrow pointing to a person and they're going like this. Like they're celebrating. And then what is this a picture of? A house, right? Or a home. So my question to you is, since today is Kevin's birthday, then how can he celebrate at home? What are some ideas that you have that Kevin can do to celebrate at home? I can think of one. Maybe he can make a birthday dessert, like a cake or some cupcakes or some brownies. 
some fun sugary dessert to eat today. If you have any other ideas for Kevin to celebrate his birthday at home, then add a comment or post a video to our Seesaw Journal. And I'll see you in a bit for small group time.